Why warming up and calming down matter? Preparing for English acquisition and learning. Have you ever noticed those moments just before and after your English lessons? You know, those times when you're gearing up to learn and winding down afterward? Well, guess what? Those moments are super important. Let's chat about why. First, let's talk about warming up before your lesson. It's like stretching your brain muscles before a big game. Warming up gets your mind ready to learn and makes you excited about what's coming next. Plus, it helps you remember all the cool stuff you've learned before. So, when you start your lesson, you're feeling confident and ready to go. And then, after your lesson, it's time to calm down. Think of it like hitting the pause button after an exciting movie. Calming down helps your brain relax after working hard. It's like giving your brain a little break. This is super important because it helps you remember what you've learned and makes you feel good inside. So, warming up and calming down might seem small, but they make a big difference in how well you learn and how good you feel. Ready to give it a try? Awesome. Let's learn and grow together. Before warming up before an English lesson or any educational session for that matter is crucial for several reasons. One. Mental preparation warming up helps your transition from your previous activities or mindset into the learning mode. It primes your brain to focus and absorb new information effectively. 2. Engagement warm-up activities can be fun and interactive, making you more engaged and enthusiastic about the upcoming lesson. This sets a positive tone for the class and fosters a conducive learning environment. 3. Review and reinforcement warm-up activities can serve as a review of previous lessons or concepts reinforcing learning, and helping you retain information better. 4. Building confidence starting with familiar and achievable tasks during warm-up sessions boosts your confidence. This confidence can motivate you to actively participate and contribute during the lesson. 5. Language activation engaging in warm-up exercises helps activate the language centers of the brain, making it easier for you to recall vocabulary and grammar structures during the lesson. 6. Establishing routine. Incorporating warm-up activities into the beginning of each lesson establishes a routine that signals the start of the learning process. This routine can help you mentally prepare for what's to come and creates a sense of structure in the classroom. 7. Creating a positive learning environment A well-structured warm-up routine can foster a sense of community and cooperation among students, contributing to a positive and supportive learning environment. Overall, Warming up before an English lesson is essential for setting the stage for effective learning, promoting student engagement, and maximizing the benefits of the educational experience. After 1. Transitioning out of learning mode after an intense learning session, you need time to transition out of the focused state of mind required for learning. Calming activities can help you shift gears and relax. 2. Reflective practice allowing time for calmness after a lesson gives you an opportunity to reflect on what you've learned. This reflection can deepen understanding and reinforce concepts covered in the lesson. 3. Emotional regulation learning can sometimes be emotionally taxing. Calm down activities provide a chance for you to regulate your emotions, particularly if the lesson was challenging or if there were any moments of frustration. 4. Stress reduction learning can be mentally demanding and you may experience stress or anxiety during a lesson. Calming activities can help alleviate these feelings and promote a sense of relaxation. 5. Consolidating learning the post-lesson period allows you to consolidate what you've learned. This consolidation process is crucial for transferring knowledge from short-term to long-term memory. 6. Promoting well-being taking time to calm down after a lesson promotes overall well-being. It gives you a chance to unwind, recharge, and prepare for your next activity or class. 7. Building resilience When we teach you how to calm down after a lesson, we teach you important life skills related to self-regulation and resilience. These skills are valuable both inside and outside the classroom. Incorporating calm down activities at the end of an English lesson helps ensure that students leave the classroom feeling relaxed, refreshed, and ready for whatever comes next. This not only benefits their academic performance, but also contributes to their overall mental and emotional well-being. Rue English Language Acquisition Strategies and Skills